So what do Pugs and Wheat have in common? Hi, I'm Alex Ward, a PhD student at Rothal Research. The modern crops we use today, like wheat, maize, rice and oats, have a long history with human civilization. For thousands of years, these once white plants have been cultivated by humans. For thousands of years, we have used selective breeding to choose and enhance certain traits. We have bred for higher yields. We have bred for better taste. We have bred for hardness of the weather. All the elite crop varieties we have today have been bred for. There is a downside caused by this selective breeding. By selecting for beneficial traits, our crops have lost other useful traits that once helped them survive in the wild. An example is the ability to protect themselves against pests and diseases. This can be described as a trade-off, where the more beneficial traits were prioritised over others, creating high-yielding crops which may lack resistance to some pests and diseases. Dogs can be a good comparison to this. Like crops, dogs have been living alongside humans for thousands of years. During this time, we have used selective breeding to enhance important traits within our dog breeds. For example, we have bred shepherd dogs to help in herding sheep. However, in some cases, we have brought these dog breeds that can't survive on their own, and often need human intervention to keep them alive. This can be seen in pugs. Being bred to have a short nose and flat face means they can't breed on their own, and quite often need human intervention, like surgery, to keep them alive. Similar to pugs, crops now need human intervention. We use pesticides to help protect crops against pests and diseases they once may have been able to fight on their own. These pesticides are also starting to become less effective as our pests gain resistance towards them. This gives our farmers less options to help protect their crops. So how do we fix these problems? How do we make pugs breathe on their own? We can start by looking at older dog breeds related to pugs that have longer noses and bigger faces. These traits can then be bred back into pugs, giving them features that allow them to breathe on their own. This is what we're doing with plants. My project looks at wheat in particular. We look at ancient wheat varieties that have strong natural defences against aphid pests. We understand how these natural defences work. We can then bring these natural defences into our modern elite wheat. The outcome of this means that our modern crops would now be able to defend themselves against pests and diseases once again. This added protection means that farmers would need to use less pesticides. This will reduce costs for the farmers and any harmful environmental effects caused by these pesticides. Yield loss caused by these pests will also be reduced, potentially increasing crop yields and helping in feeding a growing population. Thank you.